Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What is going on, guys? Welcome to part two with the Amori Super Friends deck uh, brought to us by Turn One Soul Ring. I just realized the name of the deck is technically spelled wrong. Sorry about it. Uh, this is brought to us by Turn One Soul Ring on Discord. I really do appreciate the deck suggestion. It's really fun to see what you guys can brew up. Uh, and this is a silly one. If you didn't see part one, please do check it out. Surprisingly did pretty well. Um, but uh, this is a very, very kind of janky deck. So just keep that in mind. Uh, let me look at our frame rates. I'm gonna... It's been really bad lately. Uh, with the network issues and stuff like that. So I'm trying to make sure we get to a good game uh, as our starting point here. Um, if if the frame rates drop, I tend to concede out. So if you haven't watched any of the videos before, we've, we've unfortunately had some bad luck with network uh, connections and things like that. Because of that, uh, every time we jump into certain games, we have to kind of check our frame rate and see uh, if we're dropping too many. Um, let's see... Looks like we're doing a little better this time. Uh, this is not a great hand, if I'm honest. But we've got, I guess, a lot of live draws. We can't really play anything. I'm going to mulligan. Ugh. Sure, we can't go down again. Um, let's put you on the bottom. Hi. How are you? Uh, let's lean on Blood Crypt. This is a bad keep, like a bad hand, just in general. But... It is what it is. This is a Super Friends deck. Uh, let's drop this. Um, I'm hoping we can get to Narset, but we need white mana. That's not good. Please don't hit a land. Really don't hit anything off of. Um, yep. <laughs> We're going to get there. I, I have faith. <laughs> We're not going to get there. Uh, we do get to drop a Mori next turn. So there's that. What? Theater of Horrors. During your turn, if you Huh. That's pretty cool. Um, well. Let's do this. Um, I guess next turn we get to Nicol Volus. That's pretty cool. Or Sarkon, really. We could kind of do either one. I don't know. Maybe there's hope. I have, I have hope. Uh, if they attack in, do we block? Do we think they have burn? Probably do have burn. This deals one damage to a target opponent or planeswalker. We're going to need to keep that one in mind. Um, oh, nice. That does mean that they probably can't attack, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Hmm. What would be the best option? I mean, Nicol Bolas is very good, but if we minus it, they can literally just kill it with this, and that's kind of annoying. Um, the other option is to play Sarkon, minus three it, get a 4-4 four, four flyer. I'm going to say let's do that, especially banking on the fact that we do have another uh, Sarkon. Just gives us an extra creature out here. Um... We're not going to attack in. We're going to let them be the aggressors at the moment. Um, yeah, I think that's correct. We will see what they want to do. Looks like they're going to attack. I will consume you. Come on. Do this. And we're going to do this. Now, this does mean if these two creatures die, I guess they get to kill Sarkon regardless. But we do have another one, so I don't really care. We kind of hope they don't kill the dragon, but chances are, yeah, they're going to do something here. Okay. That seems like a wasted combat trick. It still died. What was the point? Oh, okay. They get the damage in first? I... So now they can just ping this with this. Nope. Okay, they chose not to. That seems a little odd, uh, if I'm honest, but okay. Let's do this. Uh, let's 
draw a card. Oh, good. Um, we'll see what they want to do. They might just like exile a land or get rid of a land or whatever. No, they didn't. Torbran. That seems like it. I mean, I guess they couldn't play it, but like that seemed like a really good card. Maybe they have another one. Ooh, nice. Ooh, very nice. So they can kill Sarkon this turn. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Very interesting. Um, ooh. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of think I want to do this. There is little as exquisite as the artistry of the do this. Then they have to exile that one. Your heroics are but a dream to me. Man. The fact that this gets every ability from every other planeswalker is like kind of stupid. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, that's a cool card. All right, there we go. <laughs> all right. Wow. Okay. Well, we had a very sketchy keep, but we got there. I mean, hey, planeswalkers are powerful. Um, let's jump into the next game. Uh, also, let me close down that. Okay, there we go. Uh, yes, I know it's misspelled, so I don't care. Um, this deck is silly. Turn one soul ring. I am surprisingly glad that you, I, I will say this. Turn one soul ring has suggested, I don't know how many lists. It has been a countless number of lists. Um, let's look at our frame rate. It's not great. Uh, we'll try it, I guess. It's bad though, isn't it? Eh. Um, anyway, he suggested countless lists. I don't know how many we've actually had from him. It has been a lot. Um, everyone that I've tried, I have been pleasantly surprised with. Um, they are, like, not great, some of them, if I'm honest. Like, I don't think they're intentionally bad. I just think that they're kind of janky, and that's fun. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but, like, man, they're a little, they're a little out there. Um, this is going to be tough, getting it through this. Uh, I honestly, I'm not going to activate it because I don't want them to flash out like a Brimeborn Cutthroat and just deal with it that way. Um, so the fact that this shuts down draw spells for them is pretty crucial. I'm going to try and keep this up at 5 as best we can. Um, we do need a land pretty bad, but this doesn't help us get a land anyway. That's good. Pay 2. Let's drop this. Um, uh, this really does nothing for us, but again, we're trying to keep our planeswalkers up here uh, as best we can. Should we activate now, though, is the question. I kind of think yes. Um, pff, neither one of these is great for us, if I'm honest, but we'll take this, I guess. Uh, just because it's a different planeswalker than this, honestly. <sighs> See what they want to do. I mean, this is Simic Flash, but they haven't done anything the first three of our turns. Which is a little weird. Oh, it's Teamer. Oh, it's Teamer Reclamation. Well, pardon me. Call me wrong. Um, I'm going to bounce that. <laughs> and draw a card. They might shoot this or this. That's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. That's uh, not really what we wanted. Uh, let's activate this now. Now they can shoot this, and if so, that's fine. We've got to follow up. Let's get Amori down. This is going to cheapen up all of our stuff, which is going to make just everything a little bit more playable. Um, and they may not be able to deal with this quite yet. Um, discard a card. What do we want to discard? I'm going to discard this Chandra. I just don't think that Chandra is all that exciting in this deck. Um, it also, I mean, right now it's difficult for us to play anyway. So there is that. Um, what do we do next turn? They're probably going to deal with something here, right? Yeah. 
then that's fine. That shuts down their draws, so that's a pretty big one for them to, yeah, deal with. Okay. Um, let's do this. Hmm. I really just want to drop Ashiok. I think I will. Do we want them to exile a card from their hand? Hmm. Actually, I think I do. Um, whoops. Nope. Not what I meant. Sorry, we can't do that, I guess, because they don't have an online permanent. Um... Interesting, interesting. It's a very cool game. We can drop Narset. And that does help ramp us into like some of these big finishers, which is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, that sucks. But that's not the end of the world either. Um, let's plus up. We can't play Narset yet. Why can we not play Narset yet? Am I missing something? Oh, duh. <laughs> I am missing something, for the record. Um, let's just drop Narset here. We'll go ahead and minus. Um, pick up a follow-up Ashiok, I think. Alright, there we go. Kind of surprised they quit there, but that's fine. Um, it does shut down their draw pretty heavily, which is very, very good. Um, Alright, I mean, we're, we're two for two this video. I just... You, like you look at this deck and you're just like man it would be fun if it worked but i really doubt it's gonna work and i apologize m this is me being way too preemptive but i look at this list and i'm like there's just no way like it's fun it looks great it looks silly but like i just don't think it's good i'm wrong turn one soul ring i'm sorry i was wrong um what do we want to do here yeah we keep this we keep this. Hopefully the frames are gonna stay okay this game. I hate that that's such an issue right now. That's so frustrating. Um, we'll probably just lean on both of our shock lands since we've got you know all the lands we need at this point. Um, we can get to fairy down on time. Probably end up getting a second black source for Amori. Um, on turn four. And I mean, depending on what we draw, of course. So. Uh, let's just drop this, and we'll pass. <clears throat> uh, Karuga, Jeskai maybe? Jeskai Fires. What is, which one is this? Teamer something? That's fine. Teamer four color? What in the world? Interesting, interesting. Okay. Sure. Uh, let's play this, and let's play this. We're just gonna plus up here. I'll protect you. Given that they don't have anything we want to bounce, I'd rather just plus up. Um, because chances are they're not gonna necessarily... If they do deal with this this turn, that makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, and yeah, drawing a card is nice, but not when you get to ferry down to one uh, against you know, whatever. Uh, I just want to be fairly careful. Okay. Taffing very carefully there. Which I think is interesting. Oh, cool. Sure. Yeah, fair enough. Interplanar Beacon is very nice. Um, it does mean we can't play Amori this turn, though. Maybe that was a mistake. Whoops. Um, huh, huh. Well, in that case, let's draw a card and see what we get. Okay. <coughs> okay. Get rid of Teferi. That's fine. I'm gonna do this and hmm. 
You know, I think I'm going to play Sarkon. And we're just going to create a dragon here. Um, this is going to threaten the Teferi really, really well. Um, Chandra could kill it this turn, which is like fine. But I don't actually care if they kill this all that much. Because Chandra is going to be able to do that anyway. So, won't be able to kill it next turn necessarily. But going to get us in range. So, not super worried about it. We just don't want them to bounce like our dragon or anything. Um, we also are going to be having to pay more mana this coming turn. Oh, very nice. I'm going to kill it. They get it back, which sucks. Hmm. <laughs> what do we need at the moment? Um, probably black, right? Let's do this. Anyone need a match? No. Hey. Could have put a loyalty counter on both of our planeswalkers. Don't really think we need to. Um. Just attack him. There we go. Now, they're going to get something back here, and that's fine. Uh, both Teferi... Teferi, I think, would be the worst option. I think they could get Kenrith, most likely. Yeah. That seems like a much better play. Um, but we have Ashiok coming down next turn. Um, so we can kind of bounce that and make them exile a card from their hand. Not saying it will be Kenrith, but it does mean they're going to have to replay it, which is pretty key. Um, sorry for the frames, guys. They dropped a little bit there. Oh, goodness. Oh, Tamiyo. Yeah, that's pretty good. Here, I think they kind of have to kill Sarkon. Funny enough, we have another Sarkon, though. So it may not matter that much. Maybe we just play Sarkon. Hmm. How could I have lost? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going to do this. I don't know if this is right, but this gives us a way to kill the Narset right away. Gonna do this. Power. We're also going to do this. Oh, whoops. Should have done that first. That was a big mistake. These are no longer planeswalkers, so that ability doesn't work. That was dumb. That's a bad interaction. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I still have much to so now they can kill Sarkon, and they would have been able to either way, so really that didn't matter too much. But uh, if they kill Sarkon and play out like Tamiya, for instance, and minus her, we have a way to kill it on the field. We also have Knight Ashiok. Oh, they're not going to. Okay. Um, we also have Ashiok coming to bounce this um, and exile a card from their hand. They're still looking for fires. They didn't get it. <laughs> Shatter. Okay. Yep. Kill a thing. But you notice something really important about a Planeswalker like Super Friends list. Look at our life total and how much damage they're dealing, but not to us. That's pretty key because we're getting closer and closer to multiple cards per turn. Um, and in fact, yeah, we can get there this turn. So let's do this. Uh, Planeswalker. Get Ashiok down. And so now we can bounce this, uh, make them sacrifice or remove a card from their hand. The 
And this is, whatever they exile, it is exiled. It's not just, you know. Okay, deafening Clarion. And that's fine. That's not an amazing card by any means, but it's one that we'd like to get out, so. We'll attack both at uh, Tamiyo here. It's not an amazing thing by any means, but uh, it just kind of brings Tamiyo back down a little bit. Um, and very importantly, this does not, uh, Ashiok doesn't discard cards, so it gets around um, Tamiyo's ability, her static ability, for the record. Um, I wasn't thinking that initially, so that was actually a bit of a mistake, but uh, thankfully, <laughs> um, Ashiok is a better player than I am. Um, we also have a backup Ashiok here, so we can kind of start bouncing whatever we need to. I assume they're still looking for fires. Yeah, and they are still not getting it. I'm I'm sure feels bad on the opponents, and that definitely is rough. Okay. Lily. Lily is very good. Um. We're gonna plus. We'll enter tapped, that's fine. Let's play out Lily. Do this. Do this. Do this. And do this. Now when these two die, we get to draw a couple cards too. Oh, we didn't even activate Lily. <laughs> that was silly. Misplay. Um, lots of those going on, but that's okay. Um, the I, okay, so I'm I'm re I will take back my initial thought that Chandra is bad in this deck. I think Chandra Acolyte of Flame is good in tandem with Liliana. In general, not the best, but in tandem with Lily, it's quite good. Um, let's play you. Okay, well, I don't really think they were 100% dead, but sure. All right, so we are, I think in total, we won uh, five of our six games, uh, all three in this video and then two in the first. These are pretty quick games too. We're still at the 22 minute mark, so that's not bad. Um, oh, and look, we leveled up. Yeah, let's apply you and let's let's open our pack and do our mastery while we summarize. So uh, first of all, thank you to Turn One Soul Ring. Uh, again, recommendations are more than welcome if you would like to do so. Comment below. Join our Discord. Our link is in the description. You can join that. Uh, we've got a, a specific channel for you guys to lay out your suggestions there if you're interested. Um, thoughts on this deck in particular? My initial thought going into it was like, this pile of jank. Um, it can't be good, right? Like, it's just tons and tons of Planeswalkers. There's no, like, burn spells to protect them. There's no sweepers to protect it. Like, there's none of that. Um, and I was like, this is, there's no way. There's there's just no way it can work. I, I was wrong. Uh, I do think it works out. Now, do I think um, in like true competitive magic, like match magic, is this good? Probably not. Like you just have a lot of destroy target planeswalker or play very fast threats and this deck dies. Like if you're against, we didn't get to see it against a true like mono red style list, but I, I'm willing to bet against a deck like that, this would stand absolutely no chance because they're playing multiple creatures per turn in like turn three and you're over here playing like your one to fairy your first card for the the game probably not good um but in general we actually held out okay um a lot of these decks we were against were not necessarily tier one but it was really cool to kind of see how this deck handled them uh, and what I'll say is, what's great about Planeswalkers is they've got multiple abilities, so you generally will have multiple ways to deal with things. So, kind of worked out. Um, I kind of like it. I appreciate the suggestion. Uh, please make sure uh, to leave your suggestions for us, seriously, so we can kind of play around with some of your decks as well. This has been really, really fun. Appreciate the suggestion, Turn 1 Soul Ring. Make sure if you're not already signed up for the Aquaria Bundle giveaway, you can do that now. Make sure if you have, if you are interested in picking up the Patreon rewards and just supporting what we do uh, on a more monetary basis, uh, you can do so on Patreon and pick up those awesome rewards. Uh, there is only one week left for this month's rewards, so do keep that in mind. Uh, and then, of course, join our Discord and uh, check out our website, It Resolves MTG, if you're interested in picking up our uh, our Spaceland cycle 
they are available there. So thank you guys for watching. This has been a really silly, but a really fun one. Uh, I'm really excited to jump into the next deck here soon. So I will, uh, I'll keep you guys posted and I will see you very soon with the next gameplay video.